Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk to you guys about five things that I like to buy from the Dollar Tree. I've been seeing a lot of channels here on YouTube and a lot of blogs on the internet just talking about things people like to buy from the Dollar Tree, things to stay away from, things that aren't worth your time or money. So today I wanted to share my top five things I always buy from the Dollar Tree. Number one are greeting cards. And if you do follow this channel, last week I talked about how I don't buy cards themselves. The only exception to that rule is when it's like Christmas, holiday, or birthday season. I teach an entire music studio of kids like voice and piano and acting lessons and if it's the holiday season and I need to write 25 kids holiday cards with little like knickknacks and gifts I will not be printing out that many cards I can go get a pack of 20 seasons greeting cards for a dollar at the Dollar Tree so to me that is totally worth it that's what five cents a card can't beat that Number two are picture frames. I don't have anything super fancy in my house at this time that needs a really nice matted classic frame. So for me, I like to just go to the Dollar Tree and pick up whatever size I need. I think I have something actually. Oh yeah. This picture, if you can see it, is a little dusty. This is a picture of my first professional theater performance here in Columbus, Ohio. I play this blonde chick right here that is me as a blonde but this frame came from the dollar tree and it has lasted what a year and a half now so to me it's totally worth it until i have something that needs to be framed in like a nicer frame dollar tree is where it's at number three are cleaning supplies specifically like bleach and windex normally they're the same products i buy at my standard grocery store only like half the price and I figure if it's the same name brand that I'm buying for a dollar it's completely worth it. I've never had any issues with any cleaning supplies at the Dollar Tree. If you've had any let me know down below if there's anything I should be weary of. I've really only bought again Windex and bleach. Sometimes they'll have like name brand pods or detergent where I am like laundry detergent or dishwasher soap and I'll pick it up there as well. Number four kind of goes back to the holiday season and it is gift boxes, wrapping paper, and tape because to me I am literally buying something that in a couple hours time is going to be in the garbage but I still want to show that person I wanted to give them like my time and effort and they matter to me and I care about them and I want the gifts to look nice you know aesthetically pleasing of course so I go to the Dollar Tree and I just get rolls of gift wrap a bunch of tape and gift boxes sometimes I even store them here in my closet which you can't see but it's to my right but it's just nice to have like a little set in case a last minute birthday comes up or a last minute celebration or just something you weren't planning on going out and buying like a gift box for you have a little set in your house from the Dollar Tree and number five, last but not least, came with buying this little beauty over here, and that is office supplies. Primarily staples, paper clips, envelopes, things like that, things that I wanted to have in my drawers, but didn't want to go to like an office supply store and pay, you know, a bunch of money for, I went to the Dollar Tree and picked them all up. They're just plain white envelopes, and I put my little return address on them because I'm super old fashioned like that. I just like having them here in my house in case, once again, something comes up or to mail something out. I still use stamps and snail mail because I'm an old lady, but it's just nice to have them and know that they are not super expensive. You can always find them at the Dollar Tree. Anyway, I hope you guys like this video. Please let me know down below in the comment section things that you buy at the Dollar Tree. I'm always kind of looking to see what's in your guys' area because I know not all areas are the same. What things you like to buy and maybe what things you don't like to buy that you've heard horror stories about. For me, one thing I absolutely will never buy at the Dollar Tree is meat. For some reason, that just completely creeps me out. I cannot do meat at the Dollar Tree. Once again, let me know what you do buy and don't buy down below. If you like this kind of videos, make sure to give this one a thumbs up. And if you are new here, click that little red subscription button down below. It'll update you each and every time I upload a video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.